Hello, so on the 26th we talked about Skinner and Bandura um, and the learning styles, so classical, operant, and observational. We discussed um, classical conditioning and how um, it has been utilized in gambling, marketing, and apps, um, so it's definitely utilized in our daily life, whether or not we know it or notice it, I guess. Um, something that I thought was pretty interesting and I hadn't really considered previously. Um, I've always thought that um, like sexual assault was stemmed from or like stemmed from um, observation. So you know if a child sees something and then they like go and act it on the playground or whatever um, or it's happened to them. So in this case um, James mentioned that research has actually proven that now porn is um, a huge influence on that, so I thought that was pretty interesting. And then um, traumatic experiences, this stuck for me, um, even though it's just it can be a one-time thing, are also classical conditioning moments, uh, that it does not have to be an ongoing event for it to be considered classical conditioning. <laughs> So that was pretty interesting. Um, we discussed habits or behaviors that we would like to change and kind of talked about, you know, how we could do that in our lives with each one. So classical, operant, and observational. Um, and then on the 28th, we talked about um, Tolman. And he noticed that like brain mapping essentially allowed for quicker learning. So through experience, um, like the rats were making a mental log and were then able to quicker find a solution to the maze once the cheese was implemented. So um, I thought that was really, really great. And then um, we talked about delayed gratification and how it leads to developmental growth at younger ages. And we talked about how we are able to teach that and in five different groups, no, four different groups, just kidding. Food, sex, money, and education. And um, that was a really fun conversation. So thanks, have a good night.